I just got a successful drop off with the rabbit so I know for sure I know for sure that the doe is pregnant and I got two like right away so that's really encouraging because the last time even though one breeding was successful I didn't see any of the drop offs which is it's when like rabbits do it really fast <laughs> and if it's a successful like if he made it in this is so weird to talk about. <laughs> if he made it in, he like kind of seizes up and then drops off of the doe. And um, if he just goes at it and doesn't have one of those like seizing moments, then then it's a pretty good guess that like he didn't, he wasn't successful. So I saw two of those. So the white rabbit, the one that had babies on... Tuesday that died. I bred her today, which is Saturday, and um, it happened right away. So I heard that you couldn't breed, I heard that you couldn't breed them or use the same buck for the two separate does in the same day, like they get tired. So I didn't put the black one in right away, um, just because the black one's a little bit more like skittish, and, um, and so I didn't want to mess with her too much I'm gonna go back tomorrow and breed the black one so they should be due around the same time right now I'm just working on feeding 
or uh, filling up the chicks water and then I'll be done with shed jobs for today. Um, I was going to take today's opportunity to talk about like my future plans for the shed. Like, right now it's very much a, it's not like the finished product. <laughs> this is like kind of what got me through the winter, but this summer I'm going to be working on building like a nicer setup. So I have a couple of different plans that I want to run through and I haven't picked which one I'm going to do yet. All right, so it's now two days later, um, but that's okay. Weekend got just a little bit crazy. So I have written down um, what the shed looks like now and what it will look like next winter. So right now the shed I think is about seven feet by seven feet. Um, these are the two rabbit cages. This is where the buck is and this is where the black doe is. And then um, I have the white doe's cage sitting on top of the, <sighs> of the dog crate. And then this is hay, chicken feed, and rabbit feed. Um, over the next couple of days, I'm going to be um, making a new cage for the, for the white rabbits. But it's not going to be the final product because I'm using scrap materials um, until... After I get the chicken coop and the rabbit tractors made, um, then I will work on making like the final product rabbit cages. I just don't have the materials for that right now. Um, over the summer, I'm planning on um, revamping our bigger shed, which I think is 10 feet by 10 feet. I think it's that. Um, it might be like a foot smaller or it might be a foot larger but the size comparison between this box and this box looks pretty accurate as to like what is in the shed so this is my plan for next winter I'm gonna have cages here and then cages here in case I decide to expand or have babies in the um, over the course of the winter again um, they're going to be hung on the wall. They're going to be like fully wire cages hung on the wall so that the chickens can scratch underneath the cages. Um, right now that's the case with these two cages, but not right here. And um, I'll show you in a minute uh, what I'm planning on building for the white rabbit until next winter. Um, these are nesting boxes and I will have like the chicken food and water in here and I'm planning on using this space for like some storage shelves um, and then all of the food for the animals and then the doors are gonna have to be um, built a little bit different than they are now because they both they're, they're like double doors that swing open like that um, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that and maybe add like a little gated like a little gated spot um, for the chickens to scratch outside. Although the winter is so cold here that the chickens don't usually go outside at all. They, they stay in the coop. So um, this coop for the amount of chickens I have is um, about seven square feet per bird to scratch around, um, which should be fine. Not ideal, but it'll be fine, especially if it's just over the course of the winter and then the rest of the year they'll be out on the grass. So that's my plan for next next year. I'll be working on that all summer and then hopefully by, by the time winter starts we can move all this stuff over to here and have a much better setup for, for there. All right, so this is the last little picture I have. Um... This is what I'm going to be building for the white rabbit. Um, I actually got this idea from the kid that I bought the rabbits from. He had um, little, not little, they were pretty big actually. Um, the word that I'm thinking of is nesting boxes, but that is not the right word. The whatever cage um, that housed the mama rabbits was like a on the ground or like close to the ground um, in a box that lifted from the top and so uh, the these three sides 
and the top will be particle board that I have lying around and then the frame will be ripped two by fours and then the front will be um, will be cage wire. The front and the bottom will be cage wire. Um, so plenty of airflow, but it should be, it'll be two feet by three feet and then two feet tall. So that is my plan and that's where she'll be until next winter when she's in one of these cages, which is a massive improvement than what she has over here, right there. Um, this is really, I mean, this, the boxes are one square feet. Um, so her, her cage is like pretty close to two square feet and it really should be like six square feet. So going to be working on some big old projects starting with this one. So tune in for the next video and, um, that is what I'll be doing.